Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, quite recently I did a iOS 9 beta walkthrough on my iPad 3 um, but I recently got a uh, new iPad Air 2 and uh, I also got iOS 9 on it and it's a bit different. There's a different beta and the iPad Air 2 is the newest iPad so there's some features that are only on this iPad so I thought I'd show them to you so let's just start by getting the iPad unlocked. Obviously you have the touch ID sensor over here. Uh, so it looks uh, relatively the same from here um, but the first difference you'll see is in folders folders are now increased so you can have more things like in one page because usually it, you just had four I think it was f I think it was four and uh, you know there was just why would you have an iPad if you could you could have like massive folders with just a couple of apps and then just better it just looked better um, they also um, added some new wallpapers so if I go over to wallpapers they got rid of the original wave rainbow wave and these are the new wallpapers they got rid of pretty much every single old wallpaper to just these are the only ones left from the old wallpapers so only uh, yeah only these ones so these are all the new wallpapers so you have this which I have no idea what it is this some sand and water I think not really sure pretty sure that's something <laughs> some kind of shape um feathers black feathers um my favorite ones are a bit down to these kind of powder pop very apple -y, very very cool and uh, are the kind of artistic in a way very nice and uh yeah so that's changed um, so now I'm going to demonstrate some features that are only available on the iPad Air 2. So for example, let's go to Safari. The first feature I'm going to show you is called, I don't actually know what it's called, I'll just call it trimmed video. So if you're in any um, video that requires the kind of menu, of like this, like this kind of menu, you will see this little icon in the bottom, and it, it, when you press it, it puts the video in a little uh, box and then you can continue playing it. Thanks for that kind of budget. Even this 1997 BMW 7 series. And you can just have it here, hidden away, put it back, and you have a, um, you can go on Messenger or whatever, or eBay, let's just go to eBay. And you can do um mul you can do it all at the same time so like you can go on ebay and you can be watching your well in this case top gear you can just be scrolling through this and watching at the same time um and that's one of the features and another one so once again if you go to safari safari and uh, if you pull on any app from here you get a little app menu so right now it's very limited so let's just go to um, notes notes so there you have your notes that's my notes and um, for example if the app supports you can see there's a little tab here so you pull it you have now a split screen view and you can view both of these at the same time so you can uh, be watching something here and taking notes here it's perfectly doable as you can see here you can be writing here very very useful um, now um, you can't actually do that here but as I showed you the video can be displayed over here um, they also fixed the battery icons so before 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 it used to be just a square now it's circular like the rest and you have your uh, battery kind of percentage on what it's spent and you can look at your last seven days and you have your usage so right now um, 15 hours I um, I average about 15 hours of battery life with iOS 9 which is not actually that bad pretty impressive um, so this is how the menu looks like, it hasn't changed, but if you've never seen this, so the menu looks like. It has that blur effect. 
it's a lot smoother on the iPad Air 2 obviously because it's the newest iPad and also if you're on FaceTime let's just go into FaceTime just take this let you see FaceTime supports uh, dual app um, as well so let's just go out just pull pull this little thing back uh, FaceTime and if you FaceTime someone um, just give me a second you FaceTime someone. Mm. It actually doesn't work for me because I have no one to FaceTime at the moment. <laughs> um. No. Okay, so I can't demonstrate this feature, but it's like when you are on a FaceTime call and you click home, it puts this like the video app that I showed you, the um, box, it puts it there. So you can have people on FaceTime, you can do something else, and your camera will be live, which is cool, and you can disable it if you don't want, and you'll be paused, just as you would be usually. Um, another thing that I should probably demonstrate is... Uh, um, okay. So... If I go to... Okay, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to be... Okay, I'm going to send a message. So it fails. So let's just say I'm on Facebook now. I'm just on Facebook. And they get a notification eventually. It should say failed. And it should say, give me a notification. Please. Do it again because I think it didn't work. Still sending. Maybe I should just talk about the feature because I don't think I can just do it normally. I can't. Okay. So let's just say you are in Facebook, like so, and you get a notification, for example, for iMessage. If you go to iMessage, it will have a little thing saying here go back to Facebook. It probably was in this video at one stage. And when you click it, it brings you straight back to it without any lag, so it's really, really, really useful, handy. Um, so Apple Music has been improved now. So you can see you have Apple Music um, set up here. We have Oust every weekend today, as I call it. Also, I forgot to mention how uh, good the speakers on the iPad are true. You can read it for yourself. Uh, Siri was improved, so now you can have your iPad locked and just be like, okay. Oh yes, my Siri's down at the moment. But um, basically, what you can do now is you can be like, hey Siri, uh, play. Um, the final countdown and we'll go out to Apple music search final countdown and play it for you in seconds just uh very very nice and it's just generally improved if you didn't know apple music is now available it's just the music app it's which changed it's like spotify now so you have your just your music here like you would have usually but you have all this radio and stuff here it's a monthly subscription it's 10 euro for a month but you have a three month free trial if you have an i device so it's not bad at all. You don't even get a free trial with Spotify, I'm afraid. I, I don't think so, I guess. And yeah, it has a lot of songs. And yeah, you can keep them in playlists. And it's always there with you. And um, okay, so that covers that. I'm trying to think to make sure I covered every feature. Um, notes supports the drawings. So you have a little ruler. Oh, there we go. We got the message now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to demonstrate this feature now. So you can see it says back to notes. And you click it. It takes you straight back to notes as if you didn't leave notes in the first place. So you have your you can have your little ruler here. And you can, as you can see, you can have your little angle, wherever angle you want. And then you take your, whichever one you want. I want a normal pen. Pick a color. I like this blue. 
and then just go on it and then you can draw a line like so and you also have your rubber so you can rub it off you can go erase all you have checkbox I showed all of this in my uh, iPad uh, 3 tutorial but I thought I'd show that in because I don't think I actually did uh, the sketches because it wasn't working back then um, this version of iOS 9 is very solid because one of the last beta versions iOS 9 should be out pretty soon I'm pretty sure it's out next month um, so yeah that's all for now I'm pretty sure um, that's everything I want to cover um, for more videos uh, please subscribe if you have any questions inquiries I will answer them just leave them in the comments and yeah thank you for watching and goodbye